in Excel. And so if I click on this Analyze in Excel, it's going to go ahead and create a, a link back in Excel to that same, to basically allow me to do a pivot table in Excel back on top of that data model that was just analy we were analyzing in the cloud. Okay, so let's say we want to look at our open purchase orders by supplier. So if we go in here and I say, let me grab our um, open amount. I'll just drag that to my values. So this is now like a, if you do some of the pivot tables inside of Excel, but now the difference is all that data is stored, you know, all my data on premise. The models have been pulling in that that you know sample data, modeling that in the cloud, and now I can just connect to that. So I'm not having to go and pull millions of rows back to my spreadsheet. So if we go in here, and I'll grab let's say a supplier, and we'll go in and say maybe a supplier name. So here we've got in essence our um, each supplier and the total open amount. We'll go ahead and sort that. From large to smallest. Let's see that maybe broken down by business unit. So we can go up here to our business unit, grab business unit and description as um, another row. Okay. And then we can go ahead and collapse these fields as well. So now collapsing on me there. This one, sorry. There we go. So now if we go ahead and just went to one business unit, we could expand just each business unit one at a time to see the value. So this right now is, in essence, you know, I'm getting, analyzing millions of rows of data, but I'm not having to basically wait for that all to be refreshed in my report. Based on what I drag into my canvas or my pivot table, it's going to go out there and grab those in aggregate. So if I save this file off, it's going to be kilobytes in size um, because all that data, again, is not now sitting as part of this report. Another thing we can do is, if I hit the plus here, um, there's also this option here. Oh, let me go in and uh, click me. My add-in here went away, so go to Com Add-ins, and I'm going to add this Microsoft Power BI Publisher for Excel. So the way you get that is that if we go back in, and that's actually just open up this Power BI menu option there. If I go back to the cloud, and you go to the drop-down arrow here. Uh, this is where you could set up a data gateway, even though that won't be applicable on the a free trial that we're doing here. But uh, in in a, a real operation, that would be the way to go about to get your data refreshed in the cloud. There's this Power BI Publisher for Excel. So when you actually download this and install it in Excel, you'll now have a Power BI menu option. What's nice about that is that you know if you're just in a spreadsheet, you say, you know what, I want to kind of analyze my you know, my AP, um, you know, where we're at with, with AP, or sales, right? Let's go back and analyze some quick sales data. You know, I want to get my, my sales, year date sales by sales rep. If I click in this tab here and go connect to data, right, I'm connecting back to that same demo environment in the Power BI cloud. And if I go grab our sales, there's a sales ad hoc report that you saw there as well, connect. So now it's allowing me to create a pivot table on top of that. So all those same options that we had in the Power BI Cloud are now available here for me. So if I go into our sales, and in this case our measures are all at the top, and I want to look at my sales amount year to date, I'll drag that into my values, and we'll look at maybe our sales by sales rep. So if we go to our partner, more fields and find our sales rep. I'm going to drag sales rep into my rows. Okay, so now we can go in and you know sort this from you know high to low as well. Okay, so another thing that's kind of neat if you're in Excel is um, if you go to insert, you can insert charts on top of this. But there's also some of these like a people graph, right? So if I go in to grab the people graph. Okay, and it's saying, okay, let's really select some data, right? So select the, the highlight what you want to present, and now, so now I'm actually getting this chart. Look at this, maybe I want to change this. This is our, you know, year-to-date sales by rep. Okay, so this is where 
you know, you can kind of do some of those neat, if we go and, you know, look at the settings here, you could go in and maybe it's not people that you want, so you can change this to be some other type of shape, um, you know, stars or money or something else, okay? The other thing you can do is you can take just a normal spreadsheet and you can pin that back to the cloud, right? So maybe you want, so the, this example, maybe I want this sales rep uh, visual back in my dashboard that we put out there in the cloud. So if I go ahead and select this object and choose pin, it's saying, okay, do you want to pin this to the corporate dashboard or a new dashboard? If I go ahead and choose okay, it's now going to actually go ahead and it's pinned to the dashboard. So if I go back over to our dashboard in the cloud, right, go to my corporate dashboard, and I scroll down, there's that visual that we just basically created there uh, in Excel. Okay. So while we're in Excel, the other thing we can do, so we, we've shown you how we can connect back to a data set that's in the cloud. Um, we also have the ability, so if you're running analysis services with Microsoft and a tabular models, like kind of our package cubes, the, um, if I go to data from other sources and analysis services, here I'll choose a SQL uh, demo. So I'm connecting to, in essence, a, a package cube. So one of the nice things about this is that you'll see the different subject areas. So we have one model that supports a different subject area. So if we want to go in and grab, again, accounts payable, I can go ahead and select just that specific object, and now I can build my pivot table right from that. So within one tab of my report, I could have accounts payable information, purchasing information, AR, GL. So you can kind of pull all that data um, and display it within you know one one sheet uh, or so. Okay. 